Today I fucked up by choking the chicken in an emergency. This happened around 7 years ago. One morning I had awoken to tent having been pitched under my sheets. Just like every other morning. And just like every other morning I had to handle it. I open up Pornhub on my shiny new Galaxy S4 I had recently been given for my birthday. I gave the chicken a good choking and spilled my baby batter all over my chest. Yada, yada, yada. A few minutes later I get text from my sister to the effect of what the fuck. Then I get a call from my mom. She's livid. She's screaming at me asking me what the fuck is wrong with you? Why did you send me that? She hangs up before I can ask what she's talking about. Then I get a call from my my dad with him yelling the same thing. I tell him mom had yelled at me too but I don't know what she or he is talking about. He says I sent a help message with a picture of myself in bed with my schlong and ejaculate in view. That was when I realized what had happened. I had turned on a setting on the S4 which sends an emergency message to my in case of emergency contacts if you press the power button three times. When it's activated, it sends a message, a picture and an audio recording, yeah. There was even audio. I had apparently squeezed the S4's power button a few times as I was getting close to finishing. Too long didn't read, I accidentally sent my family a picture and audio of myself mid-orgasm. Emergency, SOS, I have, police light, nutted, police light. I appreciate hearing this story but now I must do all I can to try and forget. I only discovered that emergency text feature just last week and set it up. Now I'll be disabling it. I had mine activate while I was working and my phone was in my pocket. My friend thought I was kidnapped and called the cops ha ha. How can you live with yourself? I mean this literally. I don't know how I would continue to function. LOL. At this point the best solution is to kill everyone you know and move to a different country. Damn. Embarrassment. How can you even look into her family's eyes after something like that? If I'm not mistaken, the emergency message says, this is an emergency, please help Forex and then a link to the photo. Your fam definitely got double shocked. That makes it even funnier ha ha ha. Today I fucked up by ruining my wife's childhood. Since lockdowns and corona, because we are basically always home, my wife and I cannot really talk a lot. So we find different topics each day to randomly talk about. Damn, we cannot even ask each other how was your day? Because we are always together. Today we wanted to talk about our childhood toys. So, basically I tell her that I had a toy sword that was super cool and I loved swinging that around. I once almost broke a vase and that was funny blah blah my childhood was cool blah blah. Then, she was like, wife. Oh I also had a sword when I was a kid, I was poking everyone with it, it was super fun. Me, oh yeah? That's super cool. Tilda how Tilda what did it look like? Then she had a blank expression for a second. Wife, it. Looked like a dildo. Me, huh? Then of course, we laughed for hours, but my wife's childhood got ruined. Basically she thought the dildo was a funny sword. She played with it for hours cried if her mom tried to take it away, poking it to everyone she sees at home. There was even a helper to clean their house she poked couple of times. Her childhood got ruined, but our day was fun. Too long didn't read, I told my wife I had a toy sword when I was a kid. She said she also had one, then realized it was actually a dildo. Her childhood, ruined. Edit, yes, I'm not a native English speaker. How it looks like is wrong. It should have been what it looks like. Thanks for pointing it out. Poking people with it is kind of a dick move. Depends on the vibration mode. Imagine you come clean a house and their toddler comes around the corner and boops you with a dildo toe. I was slightly expecting you to say something life-changing that ruined her perspective of her childhood. But nothing could have prepared me for this. He even literally cried. Out of laughter and in bar dot ass dot meant.
I used to steal a hand massager from my dad's dresser drawer as a kid and run around with it. I'd put it in my mouth and turn it on so it'd vibrate my teeth. I rubbed it all over my face. I rubbed it on the cats. The most horrific thing though, I was just discovering that humping things feels good and I realized I could put the hand massager down there. I am mortified as an adult. My mom would gently take it from me and tell me not to play in that drawer but I'd grab it every time no one was looking for a good while. Pretty sure she's the one that convinced me it was for massaging hands. Weird memory. I still don't believe you. Think this story might be phallus. I just skimmed your comment at first because I was drinking water. I read it again and almost squirted all the water in my mouth. Today I fucked up, I took a bathroom break during a date. Today I fucked up, I took a bathroom break during a date. So this happened over 10 years ago but still gets me nauseated when I think about it. I just started college and was on a full scholarship after working hard and completing many interviews and references to get this highly competitive scholarship. In one of my classes there was a stunningly bow today I fucked up a woman who came to me asking questions all the time about the course we're on and we also end up being study partners in some group tasks. I was very much attracted to her and she seemed to enjoy my company so one day I asked her out for dinner date and to my delight she accepted. Being a poor college kid, I did not have much money, but I did not want to go to a horrible chain restaurant. So I booked restaurant in the next town that had decent reviews but hopefully was not overly expensive. The dinner was going well we were having a very animated conversation and the food was very good. The restaurant was almost empty but and other large group people on the other side of the restaurant. But I was a bit nervous on how much the bill will be and did not want to get caught being not able to pay the bill but alas this was the least of my problems to come. In the restaurant a group of people were on the other side of the restaurant at one uncontrolled old child approximately. Three or four years old running around unsupervised. A waitress was getting really upset with him and the group as he was disturbing other tables and pulling cutlery from other tables and the parents didn't seem to be concerned with his behavior. But he wasn't really disturbing me as I was having a great time with my date and I ignored the antics of the child. My date and I ordered dessert and I excused myself to go to the bathroom, while in the bathroom I could hear the small child making motorbike noises running around in the bathroom for a few seconds before exiting. I didn't see him as I was facing the urinal, and he had left by the time I turned around to wash my hands. I proceeded back to my table when dessert had just been served. During dessert, my date commented that the other table where the child belongs to seemed to be staring at us in a funny way. My back was to them, but again I was having a great time and did not care if another group was staring at us or not. After we finished dessert, I was surprised to see the restaurant lit up with the blue and red lights of a police car. A lady from the other table in which I now know as the mother of the child went out and met with the officers and then led them to my table and pointed to me instead here is the man that assaulted my son. I was completely shocked. I told the child's mother that I had absolutely nothing to do with her son and never spoken or touched him. She told in the offices that I exposed myself to him while he was in the bathroom. She explained to the police that her son said to her I saw that man's wee, when I walked past their table from the bathroom. There were two police officers one male one female officer. Officer, the male officer led me outside for more questioning female stayed inside talking to the mother. I explained to the police that I when I went to the bathroom, I heard the kid come into the bathroom for a few seconds, but I didn't see him and he was gone by the time I washed my hands. I never spoke to him or talked to him or even looked at him in the bathroom, the police officer took notes, and the female officer came out and advised I was under arrest and they will take me to the police station for further investigation. The mother out the front of restaurant is yelling at me that I was a pervert and I need to be locked up. My date made a brief statement to the police. She ended up paying and catching a cab home and I got a free ride to the police station. At the police station, station the officer advised that according to the mother, the child uses the word we as a euphemism for penis and the mother have made a formal complaint that I exposed my penis to the child while I was in the bathroom. I gave my own statement advising that I was weeing in the bathroom, 
the mother was not there and yes the child must have seen my back whilst I was urinating as that's what I was doing in the toilet at the time there was no way he saw my penis in the few seconds when he ran in unsupervised and out. Nevertheless, the police charged me with indecent exposure to a child under 12. This being a small town I got locked up for the weekend because there was no judge available to grant bail on the weekend. I rang my father explaining the situation and he arranged lawyer to appear with me on Monday. I basically had no sleep for two and a half days in the lockup and I was still wearing my restaurant clothes for my Monday court appearance. My lawyer petitioned the judge for the charges to be dropped as if we locked up everyone who went to a public bathroom in the presence of someone under the age of 12 then we would have to lock up the whole country. The judge agreed and the charges were dropped, and I could go home. But the damage had been done. My date told her girlfriends what happened as if she was the victim of a horror date and then her friends who then told the whole college that I exposed myself to young children. The next day everyone was staring me in class some people coming up to me asking what happened some people no longer go near me or talk to me as the room a mill was on fire. My date never spoke to me again. Two weeks later I had to front the college board and had to defend an honor code violation as my scholarship was now in jeopardy. Though cleared this incident hung like a dark cloud over my time in college being a social outcast and severely curtailed my social and professional life in my early 20s not to mention having a hefty legal bill being sent to my parents. TL, Dr. I got arrested for indecent exposure just for urinating in a restaurant bathroom. Holy shit, I'm fucking enraged for you. If this happened to me I would want to sue the mother so goddamn bad. That's not even a today I fucked up this is more a today I got fucked by a douchebag apparent. What the actual FCK? I'm a lady, but I thought men's bathrooms had a line of urinals and it was fairly normal to pee in front of the other men in the bathroom. How the hell did they even justify locking you up for peeing in a room specifically designed for that purpose? That is absolutely insane. A part of the problem, the real monster here is parents who let their way to young kids go to the bathrooms by themselves especially in men's rooms they're running around like a little monsters in there all the time with no parental supervision. I wouldn't let my daughter or son going to a public restroom by themselves if they were still too young to comprehend or say if something actually wrong happened or not. My blood is boiling after reading this. You can go about your daily routine and some people can just fuck up your life because of their dumbass kid and their shitty behavior. As a parent of two boys I know that kids can lie. They can lie about the most petty thing and say that it was a joke. Unfortunately reading and hearing cases about people who were accused of being pedophiles because of a joke and having to carry that social stigma is not that uncommon and I find it insane. I would be seriously considering my options to sue for future losses slash emotional damage, because as mentioned in your last few paragraphs, it can kill your future through no fault of your own. 